What's going on? Luca, Coach Luca, here from Vigor Ground Fitness and Performance and the Pack Fitness Business. And, um, you know, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is something I get asked a lot. I get asked a lot because, um, you know, I've, I've, I've been around and, and I would say that I'm a pretty traveled person. I've, you know, attended hundreds and hundreds of seminars and, and, um, and or, you know, workshops and uh, masterminds and things like that. And, and over time, I've met a lot of amazing people, right? And, and the question that I get asked a lot is like, you know, how do you network? And I, I don't like that word, right? I, I don't like the word networking. I, I like the word connecting, right? It's, it's more real because networking feels like I'm going there with a card. I have a, I have a specific goal to manipulate or whatever it may be. Um, whereas, you know, basically, I, I really just want to connect with the person. Right, and, and, and not thinking like there's always this agenda. Um, so I'm going to start with asking you, you know, to reflect on, on, on a couple of things. So th this will encompass if, you know, business, um, it, relationships, period, but everybody's trying to go somewhere in life, right? Some, it's, it, whether it's career, whether it's, you know, somewhere else. But I want you to kind of uh, reflect on who you know, right? And remember, that encompasses who you have known. And the, the people you know you might, that, that you might not be talking to or seeing right now, it just means you're disconnected from them, right? So think about that, right? That how many people you've known in your life and how many do you even communicate still right now? And why is that? It's because you, you basically disconnected in some way and didn't keep in touch, right? So from that, I want you to ask yourself, you know, who do you want to know? right? And like literally write it down. Because, um, you know, as you move forward, like I said, in, in life, the, there's people that you want to know that can help you get where you want to go. Or it's just like they'll help you have more knowledge. Just surrounding yourself with, you know, people that you want to be like is always, always helpful. So literally write, write that down because it's the first step. It's, it's amazing that when I ask, you know, when people ask me that question about connecting, um, Nobody seems to have, like, I'll say, hey, so who, you know, who do you want to meet? Who do you want to know? And they don't know, right? So having that written down essentially, you know, starts the process. Remember, it's just like, it's like we talk about, right? Dreams, once you put them on paper, they become goals. And you also have to remember that basically the quality of your relationship determines their fate. So that's why I said, hey, who do you know, but who have you not really kept in touch with, right? The quality of the relationship determines the fate of the relationship, so it's something we have to think about, and it's something that, you know, I like to talk about even in being grateful and going back and, and uh, reaching out to some people that have helped you be who you are in a positive way and where you are these days, um, and maybe you haven't kept in touch with them. And, and I know that, like, I did this um, not long ago, and, and I do it now on a consistent basis, just reaching out to people that helped me get to where I am or, or change the path from a negative one to a positive one. And, you know, and I love them, appreciate them, I'm grateful for them, but I, never, I didn't let them know that enough. So remember that, that, you know, that's going to be a humongous part um, of, of, of keeping the quality of the relationship. And um, it's going to make you feel better because, like I said, nobody does it on their own, which brings me to the next thing, right? One of the biggest mistakes is people thinking that, you know, they can do it, like, on their own. I don't have to ask anybody. If I ask someone, then, you know, it really wasn't me doing it. But if you think about it, like, there's nothing in your life that you've done completely by yourself, right? Whether it was help from parents, from your brothers, your sisters, a coach, a mentor, a, you know, a professor, a, a friend. Like, there's always someone that's been there. And, and sometimes, like, we could make our life so much easier. And the thing is, like, people want to help us. And it would actually, I would say, fulfill them to be able to help us um, get to where we want to go. That all we need to do is ask. But just make, know that it's a big mistake to think that, you know, you can do everything by yourself. And the truth is, is like, number one, we can't. Number two, it's very hard-headed. Number three, like, there are people that would, would love to help us. And that's part of building that relationship. Um, the next, uh, one of the next steps that I, I, I want to talk about is, um, like, Every relationship, right, and, and remember, especially when you're trying to create relationships and connections, um, there's two really important factors, right? One is being aware, and one is being prepared. And um, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically say, like, you know, here's a great, like Martin Rooney always throws this one out, but like being aware. I ask people a lot of times when I speak, and I got this from him, was, hey, you know, Anna's, Anna's mom, <clears throat> put it this way, Anna's mom has three daughters, Penny, Nickel, and, right? And everybody's like, oh, dime, right? Because they're, but but I, at the beginning, I say Anna's mom, right? So they're not really being aware. But m remember, like, most people, that, that's how they treat any type of connection or relationship, right? You're not even being aware in a conversation, right? So, so remember, we, we, we talk at, 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 like, 250, you know, 220 to 250 words a minute, but we think at like 2,500 to 3,000, right? So it's, it, it's like this big disconnect. So we have to slow down and like really focus and be aware of the people that we're talking with, right? It's, it seems like such a simple thing, but I promise you if you start becoming more aware in every conversation and the connection that you have, it will improve, right, that meeting and it will just, and it will improve the relationship right off the bat because that, that person feels it. Two is being prepared. I personally think that you know preparation is something not only that you should do every time, anytime you meet someone, uh, especially if it's like in a in a business setting, or and and you you know you want to be prepared, know know about that person, and not just come in there and and you know don't have anything ready, don't know anything about the situation, about the meeting, about the you know networking connecting event, um, but you know stress and anxiety both get relieved with preparation, especially when it's, when it's you presenting in front of someone, presenting in, um, you know, leading a workshop, a seminar, connecting, like coming to an event where you're like, wow, there's, there's all these people that I want to meet, but I'm, you know, but I'm, but I'm nervous. The thing is, the more prepared that you are, the less stressed and anxious you're going to be. It doesn't mean it'll take fear away completely, but if you can lower it by times 10, wow, I mean, right, that's, that's huge. So, you know, keep that in mind that, like, preparation is key in a lot of different things, but, you know, we don't think of connecting with people and being prepared that that matters, but it does. It matters a lot, right? And then there is a humongous, uh, um, put it this way, there, there's a big, what do people say? People say it's who you know, right? Who you know, it's, it's all about who you know. Well, the truth is it's more about who knows you, right? And how, you know, who knows you is a lot of different things. We can talk about positioning and influence and things like that. But remember that just even every face-to-face -face, um, kind of like interaction that you have, you can leave a positive, and positive impression at the same time as a reputation, right? And, and that's something that is a skill set that you can build, but, you know, building a positive, like, feeling in someone, but then also a reputation, how powerful is that that every single time somebody leaves, that that's what happens, right? So think about that. Like connecting is is a skill. I mean, it's something that you can you can improve on and build on. So I'm going to go over uh, kind of like ten different points. And, and here's the thing: there's a lot to there's a lot to connecting, right? But here's ten different things that like really, really, really can help you. Um, and 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 think about these. Some of them are simple. Some of them maybe you haven't heard, but most you probably have. But question is, are you doing them, right? So number one is be friendly, right? So nobody likes to be with, with, a, with a grump. So if you're, if you're, number one, just smiling, right? Just smiling is a huge thing. But people don't want to be around grumpy people. People want to be around people that make them feel good, right? So that's number one. Uh, number two is projecting yourself in, a, in like a, a way of self-confidence, right? That's the other thing is especially if you're coming to like, meetings where there's, I would say, important people or people that are known in the industry and things like that, and, you know, you're not self-confident, I wouldn't say, you know, it, it, it can hurt you in a sense, but basically projecting self-confidence, not cockiness, is a huge plus. Um, here, you know, as I'm, as I'm looking into the camera, think about this. Um, think about yourself when you do this. The ability to look someone in the eye is like, is, is a huge thing in confidence and trust. Huge. All right, so think about the last four or five people that you met. Do you, you know, shake their hand and kind of look? You know, do you look at, at their eyes? Do you look at their face? Do you look down? Um, you know, wh where are you looking? And I'm saying that those are like huge things when you meet someone, right? Sometimes it's even on the subconscious level. Um, the next thing is a constant positive attitude, right? And, you know, this may seem like, okay, well, nobody's positive all the time. I agree, but here's the thing is like that... Pr 
having a constant positive attitude is another thing that projects, and it's one of those things that gets results because people want to be around you, right? Now, I, I, would, I would say more so that you're going to attract the people that you want around you, right, that want to have a positive attitude. But that's a huge, huge thing, and especially when you're going to, like I said, connect, you know, meeting where you're going to connect, seminars, workshops, things like that, right? Something that I already mentioned, but I'm going to bring up again, is like 90% of success is being prepared, right? If you think about every situation that you've ever been in, where, you know, essentially you've uh, kind of had, not done as well as you wanted to, if you were more prepared, do you think it would solve the problem? And the truth is, is that most of the time the answer is yes, right? That's why I say 90% of success is being prepared. Like, you know, one's showing up, but hey, show up and be prepared. And from, from there on, it, it's like this. We all want to go somewhere and talk about everything that we do, like who we are, what we got going on, and so on and so forth. But the truth is, like, we always have to take a genuine interest in somebody else before we can even ask for them to have a genuine interest in us. And it seems like, you know, this is something that I, I know that I did in the past where you'd go somewhere and it's like the first thing, you know, as soon as somebody asks you a question, you know, the next 20 minutes, like, you're talking about yourself. Whereas I think it's more important to really start asking the person the question and finding out more about them, right? So think about that and, and more so you know, it's like, oh, of course. But it's like, okay, are you doing that, right? Then one of the most important things is like, hey, be real. Act real, talk real, be real. Just be you. Number one is because it's the most comfortable there is. Like, you, you know what I mean? It, it, if you're you, you're going to be comfortable being yourself. Now, I know that a lot of people are not comfortable being themselves. Uh, and like I said, here, this is where it kind of like judgment comes uh, along and goes like, hey, you know, if I am myself, is somebody going to judge me for the things that I say and so on and so forth? Um, but the truth is you never do well being someone else, right? And because it's very, very difficult to be someone else all the time, so sooner or later it comes out, right? So that when I, when I talk about the positive attitudes and the being prepared and all these different things, hey, if you're not yourself, that's going to like flow off somewhere, right? So that's extremely important for you to know. Um, always some, uh, finding something in common with a person, right? It's easy questions to ask, but... It, put it this way, how, how much faster do you connect when you find something in common, right? The same sport you played, you went to a certain college, you know, you're both in fitness, you're this, that, and the other. One thing can break, bring down, I would say, like, bring, up the tr like bring down the trust barrier and kind of connect right off the bat, right? So those are just some things that, like, are small but are big when it comes to networking and connecting. And, you know, it seems like such a, 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 a simple thing, right? Hey, just go to places. Just meet people, and you'll build relationship, and everything will be great, right? But the truth is, is that you know, it, it's not as simple as that because most places you go, there's a lot of people. Like, how do you stand out? You know, what do you do? And really, at, at the end of the day, you should leave every single relationship or every single connection with value, right? I'm always like, no matter what you do, leave value, and the value can come from how you make somebody feel with the things that you say. It could be providing certain information. It could be a lot of different things, but if you constantly provide value, it's what I mentioned earlier about how you make somebody feel good and make a good impression, but you also leave a reputation. See, the more value that you build, the more of a reputation that you will have, a positive reputation when you leave that. Now, just remember, at the end of it all, connections are not made, you know, what happens the first time, right? Um, like your handshake, the way you look, the way you carry yourself. Those first impressions are very important. Like, so you, you, you have to, uh, I would say you have to be prepared for those things. But connections are built over time. So it's more about how you follow up and what are the things that you do afterwards and the relationships that you build with that follow-up versus just the first impression, the first meeting. Now, the first meeting always starts everything. But like I said, continuing over time is what builds the relationship. So, hey, you know what, if you're, if you're happy and appreciative that you met someone, send them a book, send them a gift, send them a thank you. In this world, in this day and age, like, that's an anomaly, right? And, you know, that's one of the things that, like, over time I always tended to do is, like, really thank people for their time. If they spent, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes talking to me at a seminar that they, you know, really didn't need to because they're busy, I would always thank them. Give them a book or something, right? 
because that's what continues to create that relationship and that connection is the follow-up process. Right? And I, I don't want I don't want to make it seem and sound like it's you know systematic and that's how we because it's real. It's from the heart. It's from the soul. But you know what? Like hey, you gotta have you, you gotta work on the skill set of meeting people, delivering value. You know, like I said, being more confident, be having a positive attitude. This is like I, what I would say is like you know the more you change internally for the better, like the better your connections and relationships will be. But this is something that you should study. Hey, if, if you know. You want to connect and you want to, you want to grow as a person. You want to be around people that will, you know, will raise you up and not bring you down. These are things that you should be looking into. All right, so I'll probably do another video on, um, like I said, on connecting because there's so much to it. But I hope that you got a lot out of this video. It's Coach Luca from Vigor Ground Fitness and Performance. And whoop, see, I'm talking so much, I'm losing my words. And the Pack Fitness Business. So I hope that, you know, this information really helped you out. And I'll see you soon.